Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In this open web UI series, I had made a video in the past on how we can use 11 labs to do text to speech inference. I had a lot of comments in that video about people wanting to use something like a local inference server, not send their data to 11 labs. And they wanted to know if it was possible. And this video is a result of that. So here I have set up a completely local text to speech inference server. First, let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to make it read this sentence out loud. I can understand simple commands. Now it's only using the resources of my computer. And how did I set it up? Well, let's take a look. So we'll first start by going over to the OpenAI repository. And I'm going to share the links to all of these in the description. But this is the GitHub repo. And as you can see, they're not affiliated with OpenAI in any way. So what we'll do is simply copy this. In our computer, we'll go to a location where we are OK cloning this repository. So this is an empty directory. I would like to clone this repo here. So I'm going to simply open this in terminal. And then I'm going to type in git clone and paste the name of this repository. Once I do that, it's going to clone the repository here locally. I can open it, and I can see that all of these different files exist here. Now the first thing that we'll do is we'll go over to this file that's called sample.env. I am going to rename that file. And to see what the actual name needs to be, I'm going to scroll down in this repository to find the exact instructions. And it says, OK, sample.env needs to be called speech.env. So let's open that, rename the file to be called speech.env. Once that's done, I should be pretty much set. So again, I'm going to go in here, open this in terminal. And the only thing that I need to do is run docker compose up. Now, I already have done this before, so it's not going to re-download this container for me. But when you're doing it the first time, it is going to download everything from start for you. So let me just fast forward to when it's downloaded. And when it's done, it's going to show up like this. Open AI speech. I can click on it and everything's running fine. Now, how do I test it out? Well, in my browser, I'm going to have to go to localhost 8000. This just shows you that the model container is currently working. If I go over to health, try it out and execute, I can see here that the status is OK, meaning that the container is working fine and as expected. I could also maybe go over to models try it out and execute. And here I can see that there are two models currently that are working in the backend. It's the text-to-speech one HD and the text-to-speech one model. So everything here is working as expected. What I'm going to do now is I need to add this API URL to my admin settings. So let me go over to admin panel under settings and then click on audio. So here, this is the exact link that we'll want to use for the text-to-speech settings. Now, again, we can see that it's all running locally. It's on our local host 8000. Now, the key here is just something like this because there's no real key that's needed. The text-to-speech voice, we can have this be Nova for now. And then the text-to-speech model, it would be TTS1 HD. Once you have the settings, you'll simply save that go back over here, and then you can read it aloud. I can understand. Now, imagine that you want to change it. So let's go to here and audio. There are a couple of ways in which we can do this. The easiest way that I know is I'm simply just going to go back over to this repository, and I can see that there are a bunch of voices here already. So let's try another voice, like Alloy, A-L-L-O-Y. I'm going to hit save, go back here, and let's try it out. I can understand simple commands. And you can see here that the voice did change. Let's try one more. And this time I'm going to try, let's see, another one. Maybe this one is called Fable. So let's try that, audio and Fable. If I hit save, go back here, try it out. I can understand simple command. OK, so all of these voices are working fine. Now, what if we wanted to add some custom voices? 
Well, if you go back over to the GitHub repository for OpenAI, we can see here that there is a section on Piper. And it says that to do this, we'll have to first select the Piper voice and model from Piper samples. So first, let's click Piper voice samples. And here we can see that there are a bunch of different voices. Maybe we can pick the one from Great Britain. And here there are also another bunch of voices. So let's try Alba. So if I test this. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon. That so what if I wanted to use this model? Well, what I'm going to do is click this to go over to the GitHub repository for Piper. Now, here it says that Piper can be used for a variety of different projects, and we can listen to the voice samples, and that's this interface that we had here. There's also a demo that we can also look at. But to get any voice, what we'll need to do is to download two files for each voice. So one is a .onyx model file, and one is a .onyx JSON file. So for each voice, we'll have to have these two files. And then we can simply add that in our voices. Because if you see here, for each one of our voices, we have a .onyx and our JSON files, which, are, which is for our configurations. So suppose that you wanted to download an existing file. All you would do is go over here, select Download Voices, and under Download Voices, for each one of these voices, like the one that we even looked at, for example, for Alba, we have the model file as well as the config file. So all we would do is simply download each one of these files and then add it to that repository. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you found it interesting, then please leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want me to cover other things as well, just please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.